here we're going to be looking at a bargain purchase of a business. Now a bargain purchase is where the uh, company that's buying out another company is going to pay less than the fair value of the company that's being purchased here and it's usually due to a forced liquidation or distress sale of a business here. And our example here for this bargain purchase is going to be where Corporation A will purchase Corporation B here for $500,000 and both Corp A and Corp B agree that the, uh, that the land here that's being purchased here is undervalued by $100,000 and the equipment here is overvalued by $10,000. So what Corporation A is going to be doing here is buying what's on the balance sheet here for Corporation B. Now Corporation B would have had recorded here their assets and their liabilities here at their book value. Then when Corporation A purchases Corporation B they have to reevaluate the assets and liabilities to their fair value because that's what they're going to be buying here and they have to record these up this purchase here at its fair value. So uh, the only items that we have to be concerned with here to uh, to bring up to their fair value here would have been that land here was undervalued by a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, book value of a hundred forty thousand so it would uh, be at its fair value here would be increased to two hundred and forty thousand dollars. And the only other item here was the equipment here. It was overvalued by ten thousand dollars. So uh, the book value of three hundred fifty thousand dollars a fair value would be th reduced here to three hundred and forty thousand dollars. Now remember every thing here is shown in thousands of dollars. So uh, what we would have done here, we'd have uh, our if assets here would have been increased here from their book value of $1,150,000 up to a fair value of $1,240,000. Now the other thing we'd have to be concerned about is the liabilities here. And the book value and the fair value would have been the same here for the total liability, $700,000. So now let's go and calculate uh, how we calculate this gain here. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to take the fair value of their, determine the fair value of our net assets. So we would take our assets here, the fair value minus the liabilities, their fair value, and that's going to give us the fair value of our net assets. So our assets here are one million two hundred and forty thousand dollars, and the liabilities here are at seven hundred thousand dollars. So the difference here, our fair value of our net assets is five hundred and forty thousand dollars. Now to determine our gain here, well, the price that was paid here was five hundred thousand dollars, and the fair value of net assets received here by Company A. Uh, was five hundred and forty thousand dollars. So they paid less than the fair value of the assets they received. So the difference here gives us uh, a gain here of forty thousand dollars. So this is the excess that they received uh, based on what they had paid here. Now just to review this here for a bargain purchase, uh, the purchaser and the business combination here pays less than the fair value of the identifiable net assets received here and two a purchase price is less than the value of the net uh, net identifiable net assets here this excess amount is recorded as a gain here to the purchaser so let's go and look at how we'd record this here again for corp a the purchaser the assets acquired here on their balance sheet they would be recorded at their fair value here so first let's look at this cash here they would have received two hundred thousand dollars in cash here and so debit at that amount here but they would have paid out five hundred thousand dollars in cash to buy corp b here and then the other uh, assets here would have been uh, debited here and their in their assets acquired account here by their fair value amount here so the uh, total assets here received were one million two hundred and forty thousand dollars here but they had paid out five hundred thousand here in cash or reduce their cash account here by five hundred thousand dollars and then uh, for the liabilities acquired again at their fair value here on the balance sheet so they they had an accounts payable for a hundred thousand dollars and the long-term notes payable for six hundred thousand so they would have credited their liabilities here for a total amount of seven hundred thousand dollars now this is where the gain comes into recording the gain here on the income statement and this is for the bargain purchase here they would have credited that here for four thousand dollars so again that was simply the price paid was five hundred thousand but the fair value of the net assets received five hundred forty thousand so the excess amount here of forty thousand dollars gets recorded here as a gain here on the income statement so uh, this is how we would take care of uh, buying a business here where you would pay less than the fair value of the net assets received. And it normally be through a forced liquidation or a distress sale here. And the idea is that you could uh, sell off these assets here at their uh, fair value and it would be uh, worth more than uh, 
the price that was paid here. So uh, the company that's buying it would be recognizing a gain here, and that's that's the theory behind that. Not not that you could actually sell each one of these off at their um, assessed or fair value price here, but uh, when you're buying this lump sum or this total business here, you still have to recognize a gain here if the price paid is less than the fair value of the net assets received.